Hey there, this is Chetan and let's create the design. To create the design, you need to add the torus with the 24 major segment and 12 minor segment. Then you need to add another cylinder with the 12 words. Then rotate the cylinder, give the right scale and right position to it. Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation which is union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then you can select these words and you can merge them properly. Try to maintain that cylindrical form. Then select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Then add one loop cut at here and then use the set flow on it to maintain the good edge flow. And then you can select the words and then right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words. And same thing you need to do at the bottom side also. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then you can delete these faces. Then you can delete the bottom part of the model. Then add one loop cut like this, scale it along the y axis and give the value 0 and give the right position to it. Then you can select this edge loop and then E to extrude it and scale it along the x and y axis. Just need to scale it properly. Then select these words and move them along the y axis and you can give the right position to the words and try to achieve the good form. You can use the edge slide add there. Then select these edges and then E to extrude them and move them along the normal and then add one circle with the 8 words and then rotate that circle into the 45 degree angle give the right position and right scale to it then go to the edit mode select everything then press F to fill the gap then select the words right click connect vertex path and now you need to join these two objects together then you can select these words and you can merge them at last and you can connect these two objects. Then you can select these faces and adjust their position a little bit. Then you can add the loop cuts like this and use the set flow on them to maintain the good edge flow and to maintain the good cylindrical form. Then you can select these words and then control B add bevel on them, add four segment bevel. Then you can select the words right click connect vertex path and try to maintain that curve structure as well as good topology. Then you can give the right position to the words. Then select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis. Then you can select that inner edge loop E to extrude it and then scale it down. Then use the loop tool and then circle option. And now that's look good. Then you need to add the sub D modifier. And then start to add the support to loop cuts to maintain that form. Then you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to create that supportive structure. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis. And now that's look really well. Then add one more loop cut like this. Then here you need to use the knife tool and you need to create that right loop structure. Then select the words and then merge them. And then dissolve this edge. Then select these words and then right click connect to vertex path. Then you can select these edges and you can use the set flow add there to maintain the good curve form add there. Then you can give the right position to the words to maintain the good distance in between these edge loops. Then you can select everything and then take the symmetry. Then you need to add one more cylinder with the 12 words. And you can see here is the vertex count which is 12. Then give the right position and right scale to it. We just want to create a boolean add there. Then select these two objects and use the boolean operation which is difference. Then apply the boolean modifier and then delete the cutter object. 
then just select these words and merge them and just try to create the right topology. Then select this edge loop and then E to extrude it and scale it along the X and Y axis. Then just take the symmetry. Then you can select these faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object. Then you will get only this part at here. Then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it and move it along the Z axis. And just keep a little bit of distance in these two parts. Then join them together and then select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. Or you can use the bridge edge loop to connect these two parts. Then select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. And then use the insert operation. Use the insert operation one more time. Then select these words and then merge them. Then extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Then just you need to add the support to loop cuts. And play with the form. Now just I'm creating the little bit of design around this circular boolean. So I'm just using the insert operation and then extrude operation to create those details. Then select this edge loop and then right click bridge edge loop and then use the insert operation. And now that's look good. Just take the symmetry along the x axis also. And you can see just here we can play with the form little bit and we need to try to find out the solution on it. We can keep it as it is. We can use the loop tool and then circle option or we can dissolve few edges. Then here you can create the cylindrical form, that cap design for this bottle you can say, to add more details on it. So you can see the design looks really well. You can see its topology, you can see its shading also. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video, take care.